lakes, rivers, oceans, streams. Ponds, reservoirs. It's in the clouds, it's in the oceans and the lakes, it's in us. Uh, water is human beings and human beings are water, one and the same, inseparable. That's it, that's how important it is. It is you. Uh, water is amazing. It's way that amazing. Like, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. It really is. All we have is what you see on this earth. It's all the water we're ever going to have. And it just keeps getting recycled through the planet, right? From what I understand, as far as the water cycles, there's an evaporation process from which uh, water... It evaporates into clouds, and the clouds comes out as rain or snow into the mountains, and then the water comes down, and then it starts all over again. So we, have, so we have our oceans, and the oceans evaporate, the, the evaporation turns into clouds, and then the clouds hold up all the water, and then it rains down, and then it just continues to go and go and go and go. Condensation going up into the clouds, and then rain coming back down. The condensation creates rain clouds, and those rain clouds pour either, well, some sort of precipitation on the mountains, so all of our drinking water in this area, for the most part, comes from the mountains, way up in the Cascades. All of this water, of course, falls downhill into tributaries, which take it onto greater, larger tributaries, which, you know, sometimes are collected in reservoirs. So this is where our drinking water comes from, the mountains. It gets piped. Through pipes. Pipelines. Through pipelines. There's literally miles and miles and miles and miles and miles of piping that's all connected, moving water for us that we don't ever think about. Through pipes to our home where we live, you turn on the faucet, you have fresh water, right? I use water to take baths, flush my toilet, cook, clean, uh, clean ourselves, uh, to water our gardens. Washing myself and my dishes and my laundry. Cook with it, drink it. How many gallons of water do you think each person uses per day? Um, about 100. How'd you know that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a really good guess. Um, yeah, about 100 to 150 gallons of water per person per day, in America at least. Not everyone in the country or the world uses that much. What gets in the water after it leaves your house? Like soap. soap. Laundry soap, uh, dish soap, uh, bleach, uh, you know, hand, you know hand, hand and body soap, body wash, shampoos, conditioners, and chemicals, that's our chemicals category. Germs. Here we call that bacteria. Bacteria. We get a lot of bacteria in our wastewater. Um, it's in our bodies, it's on our bodies, it's everywhere. Pee, urine, poop, you know, anything that I put into, this, into the system is going to go into the system. Food and poop. Poop is part of the, is part of the cycle, you know? And we call this category organics. Organics. And anything else nasty that we may put down our drains. People tend to flush a lot of other stuff. Um, paper towels, to flushable wipes, to feminine products, contraceptives, um, hair, Q-tips, cotton balls, a lot, of, a lot of stuff. That category we're going to call trash. The first category of waste that we try to get out is trash. It's a pretty stinky process and it ends up going oh, to a landfill. And the, the second process is where we um, empty the water into large deep tanks. We use a very advanced form of technology called gravity. <laughs> you heard of that? 
if you let it sit, the things that are light go up to the top. The things that are heavy go down. And the fresh water stay in the middle. So we're able to remove about 50%, about half the solid stuff in the water just from letting it sit for six hours. They move it on to the next step. Bacteria hot tub. We're standing on the bacteria hot tub now. So bacteria are magical creatures. Aren't they adorable? Aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen? Um, and they work really hard. They clean the water. So the bacteria treat the water for about four hours, and then the water moves on to um, the next step. There's a string that has a lot of holes in it. So there's, um, there's a hollow center, and each one of these very small straws is porous on the outside. And the water gets sucked out, but the bacteria um, get stuck on the holes. So all you get is the water and no bacteria. So uh, just the water molecules are um, extracted through the center of the filters and lifted out of the tanks through the pumping system. So most of the water that we clean right now, we send it um, through a tunnel 13 miles out to the Puget Sound where it can mix with the, the waters and slowly move northward out to the Pacific Ocean. Go through this long process to get it as clean as we can make it before it goes back into the water cycle. So we complete that cycle. We are part of the water cycle. We contribute and impact the water cycle every day. And then the cycle repeats.